of the lighting in the, the apartment itself and in, in the place we're staying in in a vacation in Japan anyways here in the entrance hallway or the foyer are these recess lights these like recess cam lights nothing too special I'm here making a video they're in this they're in these national brand switch-ups and for some reason this switch is different colored it's even because this one has a light and so if someone comes in and it's dark they can see where the light switch is but this one you can just see it when this light is turned on so yeah and also you already need to find see one light to find the light switch so anyways like that and this one over here is two way switch leading to that one over there the other switch is over here ignore my mom in the background by the way unless you're interested in what they're talking about but anyways here in the bathroom this is actually this is actually a cool prefab bathroom as you can see some of you may find this cheap but I actually like it I think it looks nice and simple and calming and also the material is probably specially made to battle mold and whatnot. Over here we've got this light at the mirror. Here is that. It's not a good light. Over here we've got this other this light which we which we don't normally use because this one because this one seems to be enough for us actually. But this nice soft light going through throughout the bathroom <laughs> instead of like several recess lights which will just give you like red lighting there's that we're as you as said before we're already ever used this i'm going i'm going i'm going to do more which ones are you do the economics yes yes Ignore that. And here's this without this thing on, just so you can see it's kind of like this puts out. Nowhere near as, light, as nice as, as, as the light that this puts out. So that right now. This actually this ins this install actually makes me really like bathroom wall lights. In here we got this. It's basically a water resistant light. It's also plastic, by the way. But that didn't really matter much because it looks just like glass. I always wonder why people are so mean. This gives it away that it's plastic, but I don't know why people are so worked up about whether something is real plastic or whether it's, whether it's glass. Say so whether something is real glass or, or whether it's just plastic. Anyways, these walls as well, they look like they're meant to battle mold because something really like about prefab bathrooms. It's not the light. There's the little faucet that we have in here. And this little Heater thing. I'm gonna something weird about this heater actually when you adjust the temperature. <laughs> it says something weird in Japanese. I don't know what it is. There's a washing machine and a video of that. Turn this off. Not worry about the fact that we're closing the door and not getting any glass fan on. There's actually a little bit there to let them in. So yeah. That's what you like about these doors. They're, they actually have vents for the exhaust fans. Right here. You know, this other reason is not, this one is different actually. However, it's got 
and then can mess on the ball and push it, push it don't really like. They create heat in there, you know, and, and you know. Which might be good in winter, but in summer they won't be ideal. Switch. Indication is not my favorite with the stream the entire place. Here we all go to this vintage square fixture. I can read back that could be it's very mid in the 70s. It appears much older than all the other fixtures. Same for that and that. As you mentioned in my other videos. And here we have this preheat. I I don't know whether or not, whether or not it's preheat, but this strip light over here. Then look at that. And over here we got this new fixture. And as you can see the canopy is not in place probably. Not my favorite fixture in the house. Not sure. I would actually put a ceiling fan up there to help with air circulation and help make it easier to air condition and heat the place. Yeah, okay. uh, here. You don't have a light, I don't know why, but whatever. In here, we got this fixture. And we also got the lamp over there. Excuse me. And one thing I forgot that I accidentally stopped the video a while ago, so I'm gonna just continue on. Over here, we've got this light over here, over the range rug, which I used as my reading lamp. So, just to give you an idea, this has to be like. And if I turn this on, and turn this off, it will have to be like. But anyways, let's take off the thing. In this room over here, actually, we have no light. Which is something I'm. Which is something I don't. I still don't understand because we would. We wouldn't need light in this section, but what this is is, is actually a smoke detector. Yeah. My parents actually initially thought it was a light picture, but it's not. It's a smoke detector. Yes. It's also just a little heated up, which is amazing. Nice. That's about it. That's another smoke detector, by the way, it's not a light picture, but anyways, there you have it. Thanks for watching.